So we are having very good success with 2581 being adopted by the industry from OEMs to cam, pre-cam software companies to manufacturing companies. So we're getting good adoption with 2581. We're also seeing that several new companies are coming to join the IPC 2581 consortium on their own. So we recently had several companies come to us directly and join the consortium, which means that either they want to go to 2581 or their customers are asking them to go to 2581. So one of the companies uh, was Apple, who joined in April. They got involved in the 2581 consortium because they wanted to make sure that they can drive the changes in the standard to meet their needs. Then there was a company called Quilter AI, Quilter.ai. They are a new EDS software company that makes software that, are, uh, that help you with placement and routing using AI. Then there's a company called Celerin. They are on the manufacturing side of uh, the equation there. Then there was uh, MEK, a uh, manufacturing company from Europe. They joined in. Panasonic Connect recently joined in. And they, Panasonic said they wanted to be part of the consortium because they want to teach their SMT machines to read in 2581. And then lastly, uh, what's new with the standard itself? We just finished finalizing version 4.0 of the IPC 2581 standard. In the past, we used to call them revisions. So there was revision A, revision B, revision C. Now we've moved to uh, numerical numbers for the ver software versions. So it's version 4.0 instead of revision D because that's more easier to track and that's more easy to understand compatibility. Um, version 4.0 brings a lot of new capabilities. One of the things that what many of the companies were asking us uh, was to support GDNT, which is Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerance. So now IPC 2581 version 4.0 supports that. Another thing that several companies were asking was a, a representation of splines to accurately represent the board outlines that cut outs and so on. So we support that. There is also a feature that allows the producer of 2581, an OEM company, a design house, to specify data sensitivity and how to handle it. So this is very important for um, you know anybody working with the defense departments or for ITAR compatibility and so on. Things like that, DC resistance is added in there. There's new vertical proper features. Uh, there's more capabilities on rigid and flex, uh, additional enhancement based on customer feedback. Um, so there, there's a lot of new things in there uh, in the version 4.0.